Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.31. We have been stranded on this planet for so long now that I feel like we've actually taken ownership of a great deal of it. Uh, my, I'm joined with my science officer, Zedtech. Introductions are always strong at the beginning. How are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm good, Captain. I'm just thinking of we should get off this rock as fast as possible. We should definitely get off this rock as fast as possible. And I see to that end... Why have we stopped here? We shouldn't have stopped here. I see to that end we are making rocket silos in the research over there. And that is wonderful. So this is a... This is a copper train as well. I'm just going to walk up this track and make sure there's one in the station. Yeah, there is. There is. <laughs> uh, our major concerns today, as we have just expressed it, is to get off this rock. We have been here for long enough now that I, I feel like almost everything is in place for us to do so. Yeah, there goes the uh, the full copper train. Beautiful. Things that are holding us back, though, include the copper. <laughs> um, are we thinking of actually doubling this out to have a second uh, train so station? The thing is, uh, I noticed that the top one actually... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> Everything's fine here. Don't worry. Uh, I noticed that the top belts are actually empty instead of like the bottom. No, look, these are as well. Uh, instead of the bottom belts. And there's a lot of these uh, miners that are empty. So. Alright, we should definitely do something about. Oh, yeah, look at this because it's taking its time to load this in. Oh, no, we got the, we got the merger. That's all yeah, right, but right? the majority of it's coming from here. I'm here. Okay, yeah, we should definitely tweak this around. It's because it's all coming... Oh, the belts. Oh, the belts. It seems to be because it's all mostly coming from this right-hand yeah. side here. That's... So... Do we have personal okay. robot parts? No, right. we don't. Uh, do we not? I should have... Uh, oh, really? I don't have a personal robot port? How do I open this? Do I, do I like... Oh, no. Shift-click is not the one. <laughs> <laughs> right-click. There we go. Oh, no. i got night vision and a lot of power. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I don't have personal robot ports. It's inconvenient <laughs> that we don't have it. Yeah, have, having to look after the robots, I agree. Oh, look, I can move this one along a bit and get some more. It's only 200 copper, but we got to clear this copper patch off properly, right? Um, yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, this is this is bad. There, this is horrible. The whole setup is pretty bad, to be fair. I, I'm looking at what we've got going here, and whilst I'm doing bad things by doing this as well... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we're doing alright. That that instantly put in some more. So my problem is that we are actually not splitting this. In a reasonable yeah. manner, yeah. So we definitely need more copper, but we have the copper supply, we just don't have the copper transfer. Yeah, our logistics system, if you will, is a little bit more a uh, little bit to be desired here. Yeah. I would Personally, if, if, if we're looking to get a more consistent copper flow, I think we need to put a different train station down. Or not, like, leave this one Another here one. and then have a second train station on the other side. I may even start clearing these trees to that effect. Bam. Well, it truly is fortunate that we don't need any of these trees. <laughs> yes. That we are, we are so dependent upon ourselves that... At no point is wood necessary, because that's all trees do, is provide wood, right? Uh, mostly. 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 That, that, uh, that's an answer that I've heard many times as captain that I've taken to mean yes. Are you making an actual second one here? Because that's also a good idea. The funny thing I learned recently is that you can actually um, have uh, two train stations that are named the same, and the trains will go in between them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that opens up a world of possibilities that I'd never thought of before. So, we don't need to tell the trains if I place another uh, station that's basically the name the same name here as... Uh, what's the name of here? Never is take this one you'll never take yeah. me alive? So, if we name... <laughs> so, if we put another train station that's named the same here, it will also load. Uh, get yeah. Mm, I'm not sure what I've done here, but I don't like it. <laughs> Wonderful thing right, about our so, Yeah, same level maybe. Yeah, yeah. That, that looks good. Uh, and then we want to get the... Hang on, I need to, need to get a colour. 255-11719. And this should be also Never Take Me Alive. I, so I've literally just clicked on the one that's already there. Apply the change. Okay. And it's showing me a bunch of trains. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so this... Mm, yeah, no, you're right. There's just not enough copper coming through, is there? Do we have blue belts yet? Uh, no. 
No, let's just forget I even mentioned those. So, I learned that chain signals, we have, I think it's called regular signals. Yeah. The name of the signals. Ch uh, well, it's chain and regular signals as far okay. as I'm aware, right? So it's called rail signal and then there is rail chain, chain signal. Okay, yeah. The chain signal repeats the light of a regular signal before the regular signal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you the gr blue light if the train can go down the rail, roll, down the, down the track, tracks, yeah. tracks, if it's actually gonna turn somewhere else. Okay, so if the block is clear... But not all of it. But not, yeah, but not all the way down, then it will be blue. Okay, so, nice. uh, if there is an intersection, uh, and it basically tells, okay, uh, you can, you can go down the road and just turn right, but pull over this block. So if you are turning right, you go down, go down. But all of the train signals are basically just repeating what they see in front of them. Okay, all right, yeah, nice. Well explained. I'm, I, I'm sure I'll still be like, I don't get it um, <laughs> when I'm actually working on it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> difference between uh, listening listening to the explanation being like yeah I think I get that and actually like doing it <laughs> trying to figure out appropriate ways of connecting all these lines together okay so that's that we we kind of could do with more up top here right uh, why did you do that train just to annoy you obviously obviously to annoy me Oh, trains, why are you doing this? I, I they specifically gave you a bypass to bypass <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Look, you can go around here. Oh, what, you want me to go up the middle? No, 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 go around. <laughs> yeah. Do you see it basically back at base? Back at base? Let's have a, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, this, this is bad spacing. Annoying. That's, yeah, yeah, that that is actual annoying. There is there is another line that they could be using here with blue lights on them saying they can go. Yep. Uh, we got. How about no? And I go where I want. So when that iron train empties, oh, it can it can go in the outbound stack and then it will start flowing again. Okay, that's all right. We're just waiting for the next seven hundred bits of stuff to go. I'm gonna so sit here and watch that and make sure that happens as I've just described it. There it goes. We're going. I'm just, I'm just kind of like staring at this block of stuff that we've got underneath the furnaces, which I'm sure, it, like, this is the job you just said you're doing. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I'm wondering how we're going to, like, there, there must be some sort of four to four balancer, right? There's that, there's that, there's that book that someone in high command wrote ages ago. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> uh, the other, if you, if you go to, uh, is it? Factorio hacks or something like that. There's a there's a Factorio website out there somewhere that someone's done, and it's basically just full of blueprints. And huh? uh, one one of the books of blueprints is just like any number you can think of to any number you can think of balancing systems. Oh, <laughs> that sounds interesting and useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very so... useful. We're not going to use them though. We're not going to use them. I'm sorry, but has ever High Command ever saw us use something useful? <laughs> Anything pre-thought out? Nah, not, that's not really not really what we do. <laughs> the, the only the, the only thing that we had blueprints for before actually building it is the solar panel field. Yeah, it's the solar and panel array. Yeah. <laughs> and and incidentally, in the simulation, I tried to make my own. It was horrific. Okay, we are fully fully loaded on the belts. I think we've got a good flow going. I do. I have run out of of miners now though. Oh, I've got one here. I can see. I uh, always love running across a track just to see a train rip up behind me. I love how quickly these trains fill. Exactly what we're after. Yeah. Now we now we just need to get two trains moving at once. Oh no 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 come back. <laughs> Easier to do than you'd think, isn't it? <laughs> God. Wrong belt. <laughs> Oh, you're replacing it then. Oh, I'm, I'm just yeah. Th these are the the outputs you want to try and balance, right? Yeah, but they want to connect them so both sides actually unload. So if this one is empty, I want this, I want one, this to... one to continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want you kind of want like 
this to go this way and then this one come back this way you balance these out um and then these come up maybe not not in there like that sorry they come up on the outside and then you can rebalance like that if you see what i'm getting at yeah that that might then give us four balance thing I mean, the fact that, I mean, you can see the problem here is the fact we're only getting fed on one side of the belt, but the fact that on uh, the the ones that go left, we've got two bits of ore on either side, yeah. fills me with confidence that we are doing something right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna leave that in your capable hands now. Oh wow. man, I'm like still left at this this junction. Aha, the, the other stacker is now <laughs> waiting. What? Why can't this copper train go? We've got a copper train halfway down the stack. Is this left in manual? Also, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Where was it left in manual? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still all the way back here. I'm going to blame you for this one, science officer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I love that. I have that totally not pointless uh, copper loop there. Oh, I'm moving. Yeah, I'm moving. Nice. Never <laughs> fear, science officer. I have arrived in person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm thinking if we do put down two additional train stops in the bypass in, in our base, yes. we can technically force the train to go down one path. Ah, uh, right, yeah. So we have like the top line being copper, the bottom one being iron, say, and then we yeah. just like arbitrarily pick one for the stone. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 could work. That could work. I'm looking at this mixer here. <laughs> oh wow, that that was. To stand in the middle here. There. I've got <laughs> a point where the two belts work together <laughs> and stop me more than, like, wow. Okay, anyway, um, what was I doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at this mix. <laughs> oh, shiny. <laughs> it's that type of attitude that got me in charge of this. <laughs> All right, I want to do that. <laughs> and that should double those up. Um... No, I want to do something similar over here. <laughs> and uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Because we're output. Yeah, so that's right. It's this next one here that's awkward. I'm almost tempted just to leave that. Three, three out of four belts ain't bad. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, eh, we need more eh, room, right? Eh. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, you got it. You got it. You got it. Good work. So I'm, I'm actually just coming over to see what we're of here. It's Off speed here. is these um, speed machines which look to be short of green circuits of course. Why, why would it not be green circuits? This could work I guess. It could. I'm sure there's a reason it won't. <laughs> it most definitely could. Uh, we'll get... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Now it's not. This isn't fine. Wait, what are we looking at that's not fine? Ooh. Now what's happened here? Uh, where are yellow belts? Ah, oh, yellow belts. What? what? Just I, got a I got a feeling this is my fault. <laughs> I, I remember doing something, reshuffling the belts around. I may have, may have had an overlook. Copper! You stole the copper line! There we go, that's what I... I did ask, um... <laughs> I, I, I don't have a log of every single belt where it goes and what it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do with this. If I do... There's not enough room there to do any belt. Uh, you, oh, here's a question. Use Yeah, use yellow undergrounds. Yeah. Oh, we should probably use uh, copper or green belts on the yellow undergrounds, though. That's the question. Uh, no, it's yellow belts. Uh, uh, yellow belts on the yellow underground. Yeah. This is gonna be a mess. This, this is, this, this is, this right. is already a mess. Where, where are we going with them? Uh, oh, all oh. the way, all the way okay, down. All right, I'm actually gonna pull these off. Well, we're not off the belt, but move them somewhere that's a little easier to run through. I'm not sure if actually this bottom line here would be up until these plates here, where we can hide them under the belt, and then we just kind of like throw them on this side here, turn this belt into just that. I, I think I'm fixing going? it. No, no. Are, are you fi oh, if you're fixing it, great. No, no, well, can you place down yellow belts? Uh, yellow undergrounds? Yes, yes, I can. I will totally get on this. Oh, oh, this is gonna be... Fun, you say? This is gonna be fun, yes. <laughs> mm, okay, so how do we fix this? Uh, should we... No, okay, so let's do this! <laughs> can you reach that far? I can indeed, alright, let's move. <laughs> 
the power of other belts. Sorry, we got it. We got it. This is fine. No problems. <laughs> hmm, I made a mistake somewhere. What do you mean, this when you signed up for my ship? What? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. His <laughs> murmurs of mutiny have gone on for long enough. <laughs> Career choice mistakes, I guess. Uh, uh, we need to. Yeah, that, that's what we now need to. We get need it. to filter this. Just. No, 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 oh, no we need no, both of them. Work. We need both of them, so just... Yeah, but we need one side... Okay, I see what... Uh, mm, yeah, that. Brilliant. I'm just gonna... Ah, oh, why is it on the opposite side? way down there. Alright, all right, okay, okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder how many we had backed up for us to do an entire research without noticing. Oh, well, then... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I think that's why the rockets stop. Yeah, there that's why the rockets rocket stop. Rocket stop. Oh, does that mean we've... Uh, I'm, go I'm going to the lab to find out. In fact, I'm going to follow these first green bottles along. <laughs> there, how long has the high command been screaming? I I don't know exactly, but um, the the AI core that I use to uh, make sure these <laughs> the, these uh, reports are nice and succinct will probably flash something on screen to say how many episodes <laughs> that's been like that, how many reports that's been like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I suspect at least two. Okay, so we're back and producing science. <laughs> we are back producing I really thought the yellows were the bottleneck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In fact, overflowing. <laughs> okay, here goes the first green. We're back, back, back on with the margaritas. The first, one of the first drinks we made when we turned up. There we go. This is top class action. This is, mwah, this is what we are known for. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have three copper trains. Oh we man, I like the way one. the Cisco um, Cisco trains literally do a swap just as just as they're moving <laughs> on. That's 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 nice. That's very nice. Uh, planned. It's all planned. All planned. All pl I, I don't know how anyone could ever doubt that we could uh, pull off <laughs> such such uh, frame perfect uh, <laughs> input. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, so that needs to get out. Yeah, and then the copper train leaves, and then. Changing oh. some copper train colours. <laughs> <laughs> they look too much like iron trains, and I'm not having that. <laughs> One day, come on, science, finish up. We want to get off this rock. <laughs> oh, and then we need to build the rocket. Which then is we be... need to build the rocket, and uh, I, I hear, I hear, whilst we can escape just with ourselves. Uh, like I, I don't know about you, science officer, but. I feel I've grown a great connection to what I'm going to refer to as our citizenry. Uh, oh. the, the, the workers that go around and do everything for us. I, I would feel bad leaving them on this planet on their own. Whilst we have indeed formed a nation out of the very dust and rocks that we found here, I feel we can take them on for a much better life in our uh, great wide galactic civilization that we are a part of. I don't know uh, how you feel about this. I, I, you, are you talking about the robots? I am talking about the robots, yeah. Just yeah. the robot and not the inserters, though. Not the insert. I mean, <laughs> these. The, uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh. Now, we, now we need to talk about where the line of consciousness comes <laughs> down. I, like, I mean, does this orange, this orange inserter here, lowly, one, one of the first guys we ever put down, right? He's been sat here thinking a long time about whether he should pick up a plate and move it into the machine or not. This is a level one assembling machine. Yeah. Arch archaic. Wow. <laughs> we, we need to we need to get the arch archaeologists in here. No, archaeologists. <laughs> that's the proper word. We need to get the archaeologists in here and uh, let them have a look at these ancient cultures that we've <laughs> we've bred. I, I, yeah. Well, we do have the archaeological site, but in the middle of the base, bottom, next to the solar panels, where we left it. <laughs> Just. Oh yeah. Of oh oh yeah. This. Where, where is? There it is. <laughs> Uh, but Ancient I, times. <laughs> I think we have a box somewhere with some a wooden box, a single wooden box, somewhere on the across the map in our base that has the coal inserters. Oh, the burner inserters. Burner inserters. Uh, I, I, I'm expecting them to be down by by this way let's, 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 by this way yeah that's exactly by this way <laughs> let's go and have a look because like, we've got this storage uh, I think I see them I think I see them is it here no that's radars lots of yellow belts though oh look at this oh ancient wonders <laughs> oh, we've got like 
Uh, 169 normal <laughs> insert. Only one burner inserter, actually, and a whole bunch of stone. Yeah, hmm. Oh, rockets are done, Captain! Oh, we, we can finally do it. We can finally try to leave this place. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> Wait, let's, let's have a look. The rocket silo. <laughs> Are we just gonna? Uh, there it is. Rocket silo. Two, a uh, thousand steel plates, two hundred processing, two hundred engines, a hundred pipes, and a thousand concrete. I think. I think we can do this. Concrete. Concrete's the problem. <laughs> we have never made concrete. Have we not actually made concrete? I'm no. sure we talked about it. Yeah, we talked multiple times of setting up a concrete production system, but we actually never made the concrete. One day we can actually make it. So what do we need for concrete? <laughs> Uh, stone, water, and something else. I know there's another ingredient somewhere. And iron ore. And iron ore. Ore? Okay. Alright, so it's going to be an early on the belt thing. 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. I mean, that's that's not too bad. We don't even have anywhere to siphon iron ore off. Uh... <laughs> I have I have more than 100 iron ore on me. <laughs> okay, so we've got this stone bricks line here. And the robots can pick it up. Yeah, okay, already. let's put, let's put, oh, can they already pick it up? Yeah. Okay, all right, brilliant. Let's, where, where do we reckon we want to build right it? Here. <laughs> right here. Oh, you're already on it? Okay. Science officer, amazing. Ah, uh, on the water. I, I need to request a chest. Ah. Uh, need a robot. This, yeah. yes. I need to request, I need to request stone bricks, I think. So that's my logic. Yeah, I, I like the logic. I like the logic. Waiting for the 300 bricks. Instead of waiting for those bricks. Where, where are you, robot? Oh, there you are. <coughs> I, I do like the fact that I like. I start screaming and stuff happens. That's, that's always good. <laughs> Captain Life Goals right there. Yeah. Captain so Life Goals! <laughs> Captain Life, so Life Goals with, <laughs> with his uh, second in command, Major Hindsight. Major <laughs> Hindsight! <laughs> Okay, oh, so we're starting God. to actually get some of this concrete now. That's cool. That's cool. We just need to, to stand and wait, right? Yep, we need 1,000 concrete. We can take wait for that. So what we next? Can, we, wait. Uh, oh, yeah. The next thing is, of course, let's click on here. Uh, the 200 processing units, the blue circuits. Which I, I think, think we, we have it in the network. Up. Yeah, I'm going to go double check. Yeah, we have 300 in the network. Oh, that's, that is beautiful. That's exactly the type of numbers we want to hear about. But also, for the, for the sake of what could possibly be the last base tour, go and have a look at where the, where they put it in. Yeah. Uh, oh, so they're, that... they're definitely carrying them. Here's a, here's a little robot moving one around. <laughs> uh, rocket, uh, may I suggest putting the rocket silo here near where we started? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we should take off from where we crashed so we can get back onto the trajectory <laughs> that, that we left from. I don't know. We, don't you know we've got a delivery to make? Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're still keen on delivering it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a little, it's a little what bad now. I don't, know, I don't, I don't open my packages. Well, that's not. Not a volleyball, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did bounce well when we hit. Uh, but by that logic, that makes both you and me volleyball science officer. <laughs> okay, so the blues are on the way. Oh, I've got to stop trying to cook that. Two hundred electrical engine units, which I think we also make somewhere down this way. I'm not sure if we put them in the system though. Oh, yeah, I... oh, the electrical engines are not getting normal engines. Why? I don't know. I'm backtracking now to find out. There's the nut. Oh, Matt, you know what? I think we could do with a new engine thing. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five engine assemblers. Yeah, right there that you're running past making them now. We should make more. He ripped it down. <laughs> <laughs> steel. This one is missing steel. How was this one getting steel? How is this uh, one getting anything? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. It's not. We could probably feed some stuff in somehow. Uh, oh, are they just still iron and pipe? Uh, iron gear and pipe. We, we really could make another one. I mean, we... engines are... When you think about it, engines are that, that complicated. No, engine. No, yeah, you're right. Engines are not that. It's well, well timed, but uh, not particularly complicated. <laughs> Now we're going to get all the car nuts being like, Oh, I think you'll find the latest blah 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 is over 50% computer. But yeah, it doesn't have to be, does it? <laughs> yeah, but an electric engine is even more simpler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrap some copper around a, a magnet. <laughs> Bam! Got it. <laughs> <coughs> now this tubes and pressurization and exploding stuff. Yeah. Now a rocket engine is a different story. <laughs> Lots of tubes and pressures and exploding <laughs> stuff. 
isn't it always like that? But we think that an engine is extremely complicated, but it's just adding more tubes and <laughs> calculation to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's what most most energy harvesting devices are, right? They're just ways of moving things in a different manner, which you know, most of the ways that we do that is ridiculously not complicated. For instance, the ubiquitous LED. You know, we, we, we all look at them, we all know about them. I've got f uh, several in my eyeball right now. <laughs> and all that is, is just a crystal of stuff that when we put power into it, because magic makes <laughs> some light, uh, it's, it's not, it's not. I, I, believe, I believe an ancient philosopher uh, named it Wizard Fluff, but uh, <laughs> it's <they're> not... <laughs> It's not actually um, how it works. It's all about science. It's all about science. So, what are we missing? Yeah, all of this should be engine. Unfortunately, so, all we've got are three, <laughs> three makers. Uh, so, what do we do? Four. Four, sorry. Uh, I am tempted to take this line of iron down, make a mass... Oh look, we've got a bunch of gears here actually. I was going to say make a mass gear and pipe line. Okay. And then bring the steel down from somewhere else. I mean, we've got all this room here to bring stuff down from. I guess, and we can put it here. Yeah, we could just throw an engine production facility here. You want to start working on that? Yeah, let's do it. We are essentially just waiting to get off the rock. Oh. I'm gonna miss it. The desolation, the lack of <laughs> lack of plant life. I mean, we're gonna to have to go back to you know caring for animals and stuff. <laughs> um, not gonna be able uh, to keep on with this this lifestyle. No, oh, something's being attacked. The turrets defending themselves. Well, oh, do we need to take the turrets as well? Our stalwart defenders. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. That, this is where they. This is where they live, right? This is. So, this is what so, they understand. Yeah, let's go back to the topic. Where do? You, where does one draw the line between collective consciousness or a consciousness and an inanimate and an object? Inanimate, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely hear what you're saying. I mean, the the. I think the inserters are definitely uh, the line where we start to get worried about whether we're getting it wrong or not. Um, because, you know, they're, they're doing some pretty serious thinking there. They're, they're like, does the thing next to me need this or not? Um, Especially when you can actually attach them to a logistics network. Well, I think that is when it becomes less ambiguous and we can go like, look, there is distributed thought processes going on here. Obviously, this is consciousness. Um, I, I, I hope that's self-evident. Uh, maybe not at the point of the, uh, the the logistics network or whatever. Well, may, uh, sorry, logistics network is a word that's used elsewhere here. Uh, maybe not um, from the connected network of the deciders and stuff, because you know, relatively simple sets of rules. But when you I get guess. up to the logistics network, where it's like, how about this over here? How about that over there? How about this? Uh, I think maybe somewhere along the line, we're getting a the odd spark of thought process or two. Hmm. Uh, is there any steel close by? Steel. Just over here. Do I want to steal it from here? Ah, steal the steel. Um, I guess yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, you say that. All we need is like that. That. Oh, that's the. Oh, that that's the one we want. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's let's do that. Run that through. <laughs> that's, uh, the one. that's the one we want. Oh oh no oh uh, no. Uh, it's alright. I got it. I got it. I got it. We spotted it quick enough. <laughs> Inserters are not intelligent. But we no, they're on up. the way, though, in the same way that uh, a mouse or a rat would be on the way. I don't, I, in fact, I don't want to. I don't want to classify rats because they are. Um, have been shown quite often to be pr pretty, pretty thoughtful in their actions. What about the robots? Uh, well, what what do we call them? Uh, logistics robots and construction robots. So the logistics, I want to say yes. Logistics robots, I want to say yes. Okay. Uh, I, I just, I, sorry, I just need to run the balancing of the numbers quickly in my head. Uh, so we want... It doesn't tell us how many here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. What was that? Uh, logistics part belts. three, right. 
So we want one steel, one gear, two pipes. So the pipes and the gears are actually more overwhelming than the steel, so we'll put the red inserters for the steel. Okay, cool. I can get back to random talking now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think <clears throat> the construction robots, I don't know. They're pretty much told what to do by us, right? Okay. So I'm not sure whether they've got the actual processing capabilities, much like, uh, unlike the logistics robots who are waiting to hear what we have to say so they can act upon that. Um, which is a little bit of a fine detail difference, but uh, I'm going to go with it. Okay. Okay, we have that uh, sort of that... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> So the the construction robots are not intelligent. Not not enough. I mean, obviously they do some thinking, but I don't think they could uh, turn around and be like, actually, I'd prefer to carry on, which is something that I always assume to be sort of the uh, the crossing point of whether things are intelligent or not. And basically, whether it goes, hey, can you not turn me off? So so why does the logistic robot oh, fall into that character category? Because uh, uh, you see where where it, this one this this one's Dave. Uh, I know Dave quite well. Uh, I've, I've sat up many nights with him talking about how how he wishes to see the rest of the universe. And I mean, if if you if you if you're not conscious when you're trying to see the rest of the universe, I mean, what what are you? Oh oh, are they all synced. That would be amazing. I want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> the one at the end is out that, of line. That <laughs> you, sir. basically shows our factory in one image. <laughs> one gif shows it all. Everything yeah, is yeah, fine and it's <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. Everything should be available from the network. I'm, I'm now gonna dump <laughs> my entire inventory into the network. <laughs> See. I'm just waiting for the great big flood of robots to come. Oh, 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 here comes the first few electric engines. Yeah. I've got a feeling that's what, concrete, what we're going to be waiting on is the electric engines. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Go on, be a, be a thousand in one go. Blah. A thousand oh, robots. Well, have been a thousand robots there. That's I don't know. <laughs> 262 robots. No, I'm only a quarter off. That's, oh, it's a quarter of what I said. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, look, that, that is amazing. Wow. Watching them all come in and make the deliveries at the same time. Oh, that's... That's that's something. That's something that I'm really glad we got on a report. Uh, satellite, 100 processing. Oh, low density structures. Rocket. Oh, we fuel. need rocket fuel to fuel Those the are the rocket. only two that I don't think we've. Okay. Mm, okay. Rocket fuel is made can, can with solid fuel. No worries. Coal? These low density struct low density structures are made out of copper plate, steel plate, and plastic bar. No problem. Rocket control unit is a processing unit and a speed module. Yeah. No. No. We got this. We got this. Basically, our next thing is going to just be putting down a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of um, assembler machines, yeah. a bunch of uh, requester chests with all these things in, and then output. That's fine. Yeah, That's wicked. All fine. We got it. We know what we're doing. So, 200 engines, 200 green, uh, blue circuits, thousand steel, 100 pipes, and a thousand concrete. Yes, all on me. You. And when you think about it like that, it's just amazing. That person can hold 1,000 blocks of concrete. A thousand like meter square slabs of concrete yeah, yeah it's amazing right but they're all power to the suit you know <laughs> i i will quite happily take this lifting capabilities over having like slightly itchy hair follicles yeah. i'm fine with that <laughs> oh here they come here's a whole bunch of them i don't know if it's enough but uh there, there are a few I'm oh, i would say at least 15. i'm assuming that there is <laughs> now how does one collect all of the robots to pick them up and take them out with us Mmm. Can we have a chest? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna try with this. I'm gonna put a chest there, and then I'm gonna get an inserter, and I'm gonna pop that there. Oh, of course, no power. Yes, like that. Ah, oh, this is good. We are, we are literally emptying them out as quick as they can dock. Yeah. If we just keep calling the robots here, we should be able to get them all. There. No, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I think they learned. They learned not to go in. They're, they're, they're smart, aren't they? Wow. <laughs> My friend entered there and he never came back. Man, it's a trap, I'm telling you. Well, we got uh, 150, 170 of them, something like that. Yeah. Oh, look, here comes some more concrete. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, stop requesting because I'm, ma I'm making the. <laughs> 
Oh, you you want you wanted two two rocket silos, did you? <laughs> so, Captain, right here, I guess. Yeah, slap it. Oh wow! Look at the size of it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So down here, I mean, it was a uh, it was quite a quick job we did excavating the, uh, the <laughs> silo underneath. Uh, I I know, I know. It's uh, amazing what we can do when we get our minds to it. So the next thing. Let's click on it. Let's have a look. What we need rocket control units. We need low density structures. We need rocket fuel. And I think we need to put a satellite in it somehow, right? I don't know how you put a satellite I, in I'm it. I'm just but. amazed at this image right now. What the fact that we're stood by it. No, no. The fact that the wire is just going across it. Oh, straight across it. <laughs> it's fine, oh, yeah, I'm an fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. How about this? Let's do that. And then do that one. <laughs> Because oh. that's better. 